Hey, welcome back to my Minecraft 1.7.10 Plus series. The last way we left off, we just arrived here in Rivendell, and we talked about building a house. So between episodes, I started working on something here, and what my goal is, is I want to kind of make this a courtyard. I've got a um, forge room in here, which I've started putting stuff into. This is probably going to end up being a supply room, I'll do something with this one, I'm not sure yet. And then this is gonna be my main house where I'm gonna be living in. Uh, you'll notice too that I got plus 44 reputation with the high elves right now. So that's my goal today is to try and get my rep up to plus 100 so I can go around to some of these um, smithies here that so that I can get um, some good gear from the elves. So I, I'm gonna do a little bit of wandering, see if I can find some stuff. Now I did collect a bunch of things here. Um, I made some carpenter blocks, but I did collect um, like some saplings and flowers and things like that because they, the ones that missions that I'm going for from these guys are something simple along these lines. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wander around a little bit right now and I'm going to see if I can find some people for quests. And when I find somebody, I'll be right back. All right, so there's this guy here really close to my house. My house is just over there. But this guy's got Slay Spawn of Angmar. I'm going to start accepting these quests uh, because if we can get a bunch of spawn of Angmar and works of Gundabad, things like that, then what I can do is just go to the Misty Mountains, try and find some, and then just start killing orcs. And I'm thinking that's probably going to be a good thing to do. So I'm going to wander around a little bit more, try and find some more elves here. There's, they're all over Rivendell, so I'm counting a little bit of lag here too, because I'm uploading some stuff in the background. But uh, I'll be back in a few seconds, and uh, hopefully we can find somebody else around here. Alright, we're back. We are in the Shire currently. I had to go back home to pick up some Dwarven Brick, because we do have a quest for Dwarven Brick. Um, so we had five of them in our in our uh, storage at home, so I picked up the five, and we've got mostly Gun to Bad Orc and Angmar, uh, Spawn of Angmar, or Angmar Orc Slayers. So we're going to go back, well, now with our fast travels back up, up and running here, we're going to head back to Rivendell. Um, let's just go over here and head back into Rivendell to uh, turn that quest in. This is the first time we've actually uh, transported back here. So that time will drop. Right now it says 30 minutes till fast travel, but I think the next time will be 26 minutes or 27 minutes or something. All right, so we're back home. So this guy up here was the one that wanted the glowing brick. So it seems like I can only have about five quests going at once. Then it just says, you know, you need to finish up some of your quests before you can take another one so let's turn this one in not bad not bad at all 39 silver coins and wow that was good that was 25 nice all right so we're gonna just deposit some stuff back here in our chests and storage here and then I think we're gonna head up to the Misty Mountains because I think that's probably the best place to find orcs so we're going to deposit this stuff here. So I did a little bit of killing while I was in the Shire. I got some more uh, feathers. I harvested some more uh, flint because we're going to need a lot of arrows. So we've only got, we've got another, another flint here. Let's grab out this guy. No, this guy. This is the one with all our cash in it. So we're going to put our coins in there for now. Let's leave it here because we're not going to need it. I'm only going to take a couple of medium pouches with me just in case we run into some bandits. And I want to do, we've got Elven Steel ingots here. I want to make some Rivendell um, gear. And we're going to need to take this stuff for arrows with us. So let's just put it in here. Let's take some Osmium. We don't need to take all of it. We made some Osmium when we were back at home. We're going to need our, well, our quest book we probably won't need. Let's leave it here. We know we need uh, Angmar. Spawn of Angmar and Gundabad Orcs, 32. So 32 Gundabad Orcs in total, because it'll count for both. Angmar Orc and Spawn of Angmar is the same, so we need 27 Angmar Orc. So we know those two. Let's do that. And then let's make some gear here. Now that we got the Rivendell crafting table, we can make a Rivendell stuff. So maybe we do Rivendell armor instead. I don't know. I mean, what's our... Uh, how are we doing here? Plus two versus projectiles, that's kind of nice. Plus one protection, that's good. So boots we can try. Helmet we can try. Let's just see here. 
Armandel helmet, just a regular one. Boots. Ooh, those are terrible. Let's make another set of boots. Plus four protection versus falling. Don't think that matters that much. Oh yeah, I have to do this in a normal way. Yeah. Um, let's try a couple of swords. So Rivendell swords are plus seven. So I definitely want to take those. Oh, that's a good one. Sharp seven and a half damage. Let's make another one, see if we can get something better. That one's sharp too. Okay, cool. So we're going to... Yeah, we're going to just keep that like that. Lasting linen bow. We could make a bow. I don't know if the Rivendell bows are any better than linen bows, though. So we've got string in here. So let's pull out six string. And we'll make a couple of bows just to see if we can get anything better. I definitely want to be engaging these guys at long range. I don't want to be engaging them close up. So let's have a look at the first one. Plus one knockback. What do we got here? Durability. What's this guy? Hardy. So let's see if we can mix the two of these together and get something better. Weak. No. Well, let's make another bow then. Okay, gonna need more string. Alright, so let's grab our pouch. One, two, three. Not you. We'll make one more, see what we get. What's up, guys? I could take one more quest too, so hopefully we can find another Slayer quest. Let's do this. So that's an average bow. Let's do this, see what we get here. Ugh, oh, now I gotta make another one. Damn it! Oh, what's your quest? Oh, we can do birch saplings, man. We got birch. Cool, plus 10. That's uh, more than I thought I would get for birch. Cool. All right, let's get this stuff here, and then let's take out three more. And let's just hang on to our bag, because I got a feeling we're going to need it again. Okay, let's see what we get this time. Plus one knockback. Well, it is kind of better. Well, lasting 1050, 1050. It's a thousand shots. The knockback, I think, is going to be really handy. So let's do one more. Just to see. That's just a regular one. Let's see if we can get something better with these two. Strong. Range damage. 150 damage. So we're going to leave the lasting linen bow here. Gonna take these two swords. We're going to leave our looting... Well, we should probably take the looting sword with us. What's our... Boots are just regular boots. Lasting helm. What's this guy? Just a regular helm. Um, got a little bit left. Let's try for some better boots. Might as well. Ah, yes. Right. Can't do it there. That's yeah, same. All right, so let's leave this stuff behind. Let's just put it in here. So we're going to leave the helmet and the boots behind. Uh, we're going to take this bow with us, but let's leave this one behind. And yeah, Rivendell sword can go here. Looting sword can stay there. The pouch. Let's put in these two guys and this for now. So that'll be our storage pouch, and this one we'll leave behind. Don't need anything out of there. Now let's see if we can go find one more Slayer quest and then we can get out of here. So I'm just going to have a quick look around in these elves here. There's tons of them here. There's got to be something. So 79. We should have enough for a smith very, very, be able to talk to the smiths very, very soon, that is. Nothing with these guys. It's kind of random too. I, thought, I would have thought more of the soldiers would be asking for slaying deeds, but it's just random elves will ask for them. Come on guys, there's lots of you here, there's got to have some, somebody's got to have, have uh, a request. There we go. 
What do you want? 16 string. Well, we can do that. Let's do that right now. And what do you want? I can't, I won't know yet. Okay, let's grab that string out and get that quest done real fast. So 16. Let's do this guy. And then maybe we can find out what that other guy wanted. 14. Okay. Did we pick that up? I think we did. It went right into the pouch. All right, where's the other guy now? He was down here. There you are. What do you want? Spawn of Angmar, accept. Perfect. All right, now we can get out of here. We got lots of stuff to make more arrows. Lots of wood on us. Lots of, we got two bows, extra swords, seven and a half damage each. So we're good to go. So let's get out of here. So I'm going to head out of here. And when we come back, uh, this guy wants something too, that figures. Yeah. Come on, man. I'd, I'd take the quest. No problem. Okay. No big deal. So let's have a look at the map here. Not this map. We want to look at this map. So we have to go up here. At least get into the white. So if we travel straight east, that's probably the best way to do it. And then we can take a quick uh, jaunter up to the high pass. But if we go straight east, or yeah, east, and make it here, we should be able to, to at least uh, get right into the Misty Mountains. And we'll get a lot of these uh, um, quick transfer points. So let's do that. We're going to head out of here, go straight east. Now, um, Rivendell is pretty boring, so there's like nothing here, no no uh, um, mobs or anything to fight. So uh, when I get to the edge of Rivendell, um, I will come back if there's anything interesting. Other than that, I'll meet you at the Misty Mountains. All right, so we're on the other side of Rivendell now. We just got on the outskirts here. This uh, area around here is basically this massive hilly terrain here. You kind of have to cross over. And I've just done that. Picked up a couple things along the way. You can find tin, copper, and coal on the surface around there, which is kind of cool. So we're going to make my way down in through here. Now we're going to be approaching the Misty Mountains. And there's a chance, because it's raining, there's a chance for orcs and bandits and stuff out here. So my sword is glowing because there's orcs nearby. Probably underground. But your sword, if you have a Rivendell sword, when there's orcs nearby, it will glow. And I don't know what the distance is. Yeah, see, there it is again. It's probably underground. But it's good to keep it out in handy. Yeah, I hear them. They're down there. I don't know if they're in here. We need spawn of Angmar and we need gun to bad orcs. Not going to go caving for them though. Going to go to the Misties. Misties is usually the best bet. You can find them on the surface all over the place. But it's nice to have that Rivendell sword. Okay, so we're going to just climb this hill here. Misty shouldn't be too far away. They're just over there. Yeah, we're getting pretty close here, I think. Yeah, we still got a little ways to go. So I'll come back when I get to the edge of the Misty Mountains. Looks like I'm coming across an old, either Dwarven Fort or an Angmar Fort here. Huh. I can't remember. There's an orc. What's up, buddy? Yep, like in the knockback. So it could be an or it could be an orc fort. Uh, I think it's dwarf though. It looks like dwarven brick. Yeah, dwarven pillars. So in these old dwarven forts, you can find stuff just lying around in chests. So it's always good to go and check them out. Orcs here too. Plus, if you like these dwarven doors, you can just take these too, right? you got to use a uh, pickaxe to take them, though. That's why you don't have to build them, right? Because this place is abandoned, it doesn't matter. I mean, you could knock the whole place down if you wanted to. It would take quite a while to be able to do that, but... 
So here's uh, dwarven crafting tables. These are just a regular dwarven crafting table. I'm hearing orcs. I don't know if there's any orcs up here though. You can find dwarven forges in here. There we go. Arr. Die. Scared the crap out of me. Gun to bad orc. That's a warg. No. Got the warg. Got the orc. Okay, I was worried there for a second I was going to get killed. Like I said, I'm not the best in combat, but sure enough, got the job done today. More dwarven stuff snowing up here. I was hoping for a dwarven forge, but it doesn't look like it's happening. Sun's going down, definitely need to sleep. So, and guess what? I did not bring a bed. I did not. So let's dunk this stuff in here for now. Uh, we don't need the lark wood. Let's just drop that out of here. Let's keep the string for now. Well, can't fit it in there anyway. So it's going to be a long night. And there's going to be lots of orcs. So I'm going to have to keep my eyes open. I don't think I need any more than two crafting tables. Although there are more. I might as well just take them. We're all going to get stacked anyway. Alright, so I need to find a place that I can hold up. So we're downstairs here. Is that a guy out there? It is. Where are you? I hear you. Gun to bed Uruk. Elven champion. See, you're getting attacked by all sides now. Out. This is the reason you do not want to be out here at night. Come on. Don't know if they're outside or upstairs now. do this. Just in case. And then we put some coal in here. Um, let's get this out of the way. And let's take our coal and make some torches. We do not guy, want guys spawning behind us, so let's just ditch the rotten flesh. We don't need that. I mean, chances are we won't get spawns up here, but you never know. Okay, so that's nice and lit up. So I'm going to come back when it's morning. I don't really want to engage these guys right now. Because you're going to get attacked from all sides, right? Like, that's the thing. Take these guys. Just going to do this. Oh, yeah, the other thing I got to tell you about, too, is that uh, 
different orc factions don't like each other. So they will fight each other. So let's put these guys here. And let's put one over here. Let's take some of these dwarven bars. So now we can see outside. Don't need to collect shiz from these guys. We can just like smoke them and get our orcs done. They're coming in down below now too. Come to bad orcs. So they can't get up here. But they sure as heck can uh, shoot up here. Let's see if we can see some guys on this side. There's a guy. And a warg. some arrows this place is crazy we should probably get our uh, we should probably get our uh, thing done without a problem here our quest done so let's grab eight more of each make some arrows here in a minute once we fire off a few more okay let's see if we can get oh saw a warg over there there he is. Nice. Now there was a guy up over there too. I don't know where he went. Alright, let's go over here. Take a look around. There's another one down there. Gun to bed probably. So they've all got different strengths. Oh, there's another one of those Thumbcrap trees. So they got different hit points and everything, so it's always hard. It's always difficult to know who you're fighting, right? Tough guy or a weak guy. Let's see if we can grab this piece of wood here. Nope. That's a warg. Right there. How are we doing here? We got enough to load up? Yeah, we got enough to load up with another set of arrows. So we're going to need to make a uh, workbench. Just make a regular crafting table. I think we'll drop it like right here just to fill that hole in which I was planning on doing anyway. Alright, so we're loaded up with arrows. What's up, buddy? Coal, dagger, not much. I don't really want anything down there. But you can see how quickly these guys spawn out here. But if you can build yourself a little fort, like I've done here, you can get away with uh, surviving out here. That's a bowman. Lots of gun to bad guys dying out here. Never didn't bring the book though, so we should be figuring out how many we've been killing. Spawn of Angmar. Is there any way to change? I don't have my book with me, so I can't change that, what we're looking at here. I should have no problem getting enough uh, gun to bad orcs. There's that guy. Urukai? Is he an Angmar? Angmar? Uruk? He's certainly tough, that's for sure.
gone to bed, Uruk. Gone to bed, Orc. Did the Urks and Orcs hate each other? There's a sword over there, which means that's an invasion. I don't even know if we got that guy or not. I really want the sun to come up really, really badly, but it takes forever for day and night cycles here. Oh, another guy over there. They spawn really fast out here. So if you're not careful, you're going to die horribly. Like, wandering around here at night is, like, not a good idea. If it was a regular Minecraft night, it wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we'll definitely have our Gunderbad Slayers done. It's too bad. That, I think there was... I can't remember if it's two quests or three quests that required Gunderbad orcs. I think it was two and three Angmar ones. I would have thought the Angmar orcs would have been here as well, but I guess Gundabad orcs sort of control the Misty Mountains. How are we doing for arrows? 21, let's get some more. Another 8 of each. We're going to run low real fast here. But the whole goal was to get our slaying done here so we can get some more rep with the elves, and we've got a lot of rep already just by killing them. Let's put that back up there. Okay. So there are orcs, and there's one down there. Did he die? Yes, he died. Gun to bad orc. So we're getting a lot of rep with the elves, 132. So we're already at a point now where we can go back and um, talk to the smiths to be able to get some items from them. Sometimes you can get some really good items. Come on. Oh, there's some wargs over there. So the moon's probably right above us. Oh, no. Probably about three quarters of the way done, the evening. And since we're just shooting orcs here, unless there's anything interesting, I'll just I'll come back in the morning when we're going to be leaving here. And then um, we'll continue on to the Misty Mountains. I don't think we're that far away. I think that's them right there. Let's have a look at the uh, map here. Yeah, we're right, we're right next to them, so they're just over here. So we'll come back in the morning when I'm at the Misties. See you in a few minutes. Okay, we are arriving at the Misty Mountains. The tower's just over there. I made a break for it in the morning. I'm not going to go bother going down there and grabbing that tree because there is a lot of works around. But the mini Misty Mountains, you'll notice, is rich in uh, material here. So you'll find lots of minerals and stuff here. Lots of metals. Um, this is the only place you're going to find mithril. So if you're looking to mine mithril, you got to come here to do it. And it's way down at the bottom. So look to the areas that you would normally find diamonds in, and that's where you'll find the mithril. So we do have, uh, I believe, those quests that we need to have done that are not Angmarim quests. So we can head back at any time. Our respawn is already up and ready to go. Uh, but I'm just going to spend a little time moving around through the Misty Mountains here. I want to see if I can find um, some more tin and some more um, copper. It's sitting on the surface. There's no point going into the mines and trying to find it. All you have to do is just kind of look around the surface and you can spot it. Um, the other thing too is if we now look at the map here, you can see that the High Pass is now open. Eagle's Erie is open. Um, Mount Graham, so if you want to go up to Angmar and the Etten Moors and stuff, this is where you're going to find a lot of Angmar orcs. Uh, or you can go down south here to the areas over top of Moria, which gives you close to the Dimriel Dale and the elves over here. And you can go down to Mount, Mount Mithadris, which is just close to Isengard and stuff. Lots of orcs and stuff down here. So we've got all that open now, which is great. 
Unfortunately, we don't have the Iron Hills and stuff open, which means we need to travel up there. And we don't have Gundabad open because that's controlled by the orcs as well as Goblin Town. So we've unlocked quite a few things. The ability to be able to travel around Middle Earth is a little better now. So my respawn um, or my fast travel is now back up again. So I'll be able to travel at any point in time. Um, but like I said, I'm just going to spend a little bit of time wandering around here trying to find some more metal and then um, I'm going to head back to Rivendell probably just before nightfall. I don't want to be out here in the middle of the night. I can hear the orcs down there below the ground. Um, I don't want to be out here in the middle of the night. So uh, you're not going to find any dwarven homes and stuff out here. They're just not here because um, the dwarves have been pretty much eliminated from the Misty Mountains altogether. So yeah, anyway, I'll come back once I'm head headed back to Riverdale. All right, so we're on our way back home now. I was kind of stuck there in the middle of a big crevice, so I didn't feel like mining my way out. So we're back here now, just gonna dump this stuff out and then go around and hopefully turn in our quests. Oh, that's Angmar guy. And we've got a couple more up here. So there's one over here. So we got lots of um, rep with Rivendell now. We need to get over a thousand to be able to hire any soldiers though. Not that I need to do that right away, but it's going to be nice to do our raids into uh, the Misties or into Angmar with uh, soldiers. So you want Angmar too. So that my three guys that I need are up here then. Or I guess it's two. I think it was three Angmar and two Gundabad. So the next time I know just to take the Gundabad quest, because going to the Misties is going to be easy to kill Gundabad orcs. So my guys are up here. Uh, how far up here though? I don't remember where they were now. Oh yeah, they're further up here. So if we go this way, yeah, there we go. We'll see, be able to see where they are. All right, so one guy over here. Let's grab him first. Hoping to get more quests too. The slain quests are nice, but you get, if you grab a batch of them and go adventuring, you can do them all in one shot, which is great. Uh, what am I missing? I only killed 26? Are you serious? I thought it was way more than that. Spawn a gun to bad definitely was more than that. Oh, really? I think this guy is another Angmar guy. So that's like no quest done. Wow. He wanted the Angmar guys, yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll go back, grab my book, I'll ditch the Angmar quests. Okay, so I've had to do a bunch of stuff between the last time I talked and now. The first thing I had to do was I had to go around, try and find some more uh, Gundabad quests. Tons of elves wanting um, me to slay Angmar orcs or spawn of Angmar or stuff, but finding the Gundabad ones, like even Gondor Brick, right, which I don't have right now. Uh, but I've managed to find two more quests. This is good. But we're going to go, now that we've got 159 rep with the elves, we're going to start looking at uh, trading with the Rivendell Smiths. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to exchange some coins. So what you can do is, I believe if you put it here, yeah, you can go upwards. So I thought you could just take them out of here. Right, that's right. So you have to click the arrow. So then you just click the arrow. Right, now you can move your denominations up. Um, just so that you're not carrying stacks of these things around. It's a huge help for sure. Saves a lot of space in your backpack. So now we've got this. Convert as much as we can. Okay, so now what you can do now is also with these guys, you can convert 10 into uh, mithril coins. Or these are supposed to be mithril coins. But uh, yeah, you can convert them up. So now when you buy things, you don't have to use up so many coins, way less slots. 
So that's the first thing we're going to do. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to trade with this guy and see what he wants and see what, he, what we can get. So we can trade tin ore for five, which is pretty good. Now we can take a look at all this stuff here too, right? So sharp Rivendell pickaxe, tough Rivendell leggings, that's six armor. Rivendell spear, sword's not any better than what we have. Poor chest plate. He's not a very good guy at making chest pieces, I guess. You can buy arrows if you needed to. Rivendell crafting table. So I don't think we really need to sell anything here. But what we want to do, I think, is check our pants. Uh, was that the pants that he had? Yeah. So we've got the same legging. So we're not going to look at this guy. Let's have a look at the forge. Um, so if we go to smith thing, I believe... Oh, yeah, in the interim, I did a quest where someone wanted two Rivendell swords. So I made two swords, and he, they took my good sword. So I had to make a whole new sword. So now my sword doesn't do seven and a half, and I does seven. But it's got looting luck on it, which is good. So I think you can throw those things in here, and then... I don't know what we need. I'll have to figure that out later. But you can rename your sword if you want to name it something. You can name it whatever you want. Um, but I gotta figure out what it is that we need to make items with, um, and then we can go ahead and do that. But uh, right now, I still want to trade a little bit more with these guys, and hopefully we find somebody that's got another gun to bag quest. There's two more Smiths guy Smiths right here. Let's talk to this guy first and see what he's got. Let's trade with him. So he wants gold, elven stealing. I guess we don't want to trade that kind of stuff. The bow plus two knockback, ours is only plus one, but I don't want to knock them too far back. Pants are just regular. Okay, so this is just average stuff in here. They actually buy sticks too. That's uh, kind of nice to know if you run out of cash. You can easily get wood and make sticks. Yeah, let's talk to this guy over here. This is the last smith that's close to us. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, see mithril nuggets, 49. If you get mithril, you can make a lot of money. But that's not what we want. Rivendell horse armor. We don't have a horse yet. Leggings, lasting. So there's nothing really from these guys that we can get. Um, so we're going to put this stuff back away in our backpack. And you can see how much space we've saved now overall. Got tons of space available. So we're going to take our four gun to bad quests. And we're going to go out and complete those out in the middle of the Misty Mountains. And generally what we're going to do... Actually, I've sort of redone my base slightly. I haven't built anything because I needed to cook a lot more stone. So I did a little bit of mining between the last time and this, like the last on-camera bit and this on-camera bit so I could get some stone. And I needed iron because we were out of iron here. So now we've got stone and we can turn these into either pillars or we can turn these into high elven brick using the Rivendell crafting table. For now we're just going to leave them. Uh, we don't need to do that. We're just going to actually going to put these over in the other chest. I'm uh, going to leave this here. So I did collect a ton of iron. There's like, you know, stacking a bit and a bunch of other stuff. I'm going to put them over here. So I moved all my stuff out of there. Moved it all into here. Got my bricks in here now. Bricks and other little things in here. And then on this side, um, all the gak that we've kind of found. I was able to get rid of the Angmar helmet that we had. Somebody wanted the Angmar helmet, so I was able to give it to him for like three three reputation or something like that. But uh, let's have a look at our work skin rug right now. I had it, I laid it out a little bit a little while ago. This is going to be cool for like like a trophy room, but right now we're not going to use it. But you can just lay it down, right? Now you got this work skin rug. You can walk over it. It's pretty cool. So we're going to save that for a trophy room. I'm just going to leave that in there for now. Actually, let's pull this medium pouch out of here and see what's in it. I want to get stuff out of these pouches so I can start carrying things around. Yeah, let's take this stuff out of here. And drop it in the chest. See if it'll all fit in here. I don't know if it will or not. Doesn't look like it. So, great. what can we take out of here? Melee damage sword. Just a regular iron sword. Melee damage sword. Hulking plus two knockback sword. Let's mix these two together, see what we get. Eh, sharp sword. That's not bad. We'd leave that in there. Uh, what else do we have here? So let's stick a book in there. Um, what can we pull out of this place? Let's take the beach sapling out and Athelus. 
and we'll put this in and this in. What else do we got here? Um, well, we can put the apprentice ring on. We don't really need to carry that around with us. And then we'll put all of the organic stuff in here. We'll put the ring on. Not that it's actually going to help us here, but it'll at least, at least get it out of the way. And then we'll have another empty pouch we can take with us to, to gather up stuff. I am going to take the quest book with me this time, uh, only because we, we meant to take it with us last time and we didn't quite get what we wanted. Um, so I'm going to take that with me. And I am going to teleport to the Misty Mountains right now. And we're going to go up to the high pass. We've got our bed with us this time too, so we can sleep. So what I want to do, if I can't find a place that's relatively secure, I'm going to build a small little fort. And then we will be able to attack um, any enemies that spawn around us. So what you want to do in that instance, we're going to head east. Uh, what you want to do in that instance is... Sorry, I'm just looking for metal here. should probably not be doing that. But uh, what you want to do in that instance is, um, if you're building a fort, make sure you're in a flat area. Um, this pathway here runs all the way through the Misty Mountains. As the uh, map says, it's the high pass. It's the road that runs all the way through. So there is a road that runs all the way through. So if you wanted to run this or get on a horse and ride through here, you could. But we're going to try and find an open area up here. These mountains are really, really high too, so I mean, you could go up, but I like having an area where it's like really flat, relatively flat around you, so you can see for a good distance. And I brought a hefty amount of arrows too. I'm hoping that I've got enough. The quests that we have don't require that many more spawn of Gundabad to be killed. Yeah, see, here looks like there's an open area here. Relatively open. Uh, we're getting there. It's coming up to a flat area up here, it looks like, or flatter. So, this is a possibility. You know, sort of building a fort right in here. And then we'll have a good view down into there, and a relatively good view over here as well for when they spawn. Got a bit of time, it's the middle of the day. Let's continue along, see if we can find something else. Uh, you know what, I'll come back if I find a good place up ahead to build a fort. All right, welcome back to nighttime in the Misty Mountains. So we are in our fort, and I've built it too high, three high in some areas when there's like a, an, an area where there's a little higher than my fort, so that they can't fire down into my fort. So I've cut back all this area, flattened it all out, and now I can see pretty much everywhere here. I made some corners in case they have archers so I can hide in, and I think we're ready to go here. Just gotta wait for these guys to start spawning. So we need up to, we need at least 32, so let's get my book out here, just so we can find out what the quest is. So I put everything in here just in case, so let's just find out what our quests are asking us to do here. So we need we're going to forget this, this first one because we got to kill the Gundabad Orcs. It's almost done. So the biggest one here is 21 Gundabad Orcs. And then 12 spawn of Gundabad. So it's the same thing. So we just need to kill 21 guys. Which I think we should have no problem doing. And then we can get out of here. So it's only taken me a little bit to build this uh, fortification. And I can hear somebody. Or was I hearing the torch? Hearing the torch, I think. So there's an Orc down there already. They're going to start spawning like crazy. Got to be careful. I don't want to run out of arrows. There, that guy's dead. So you can see here, they're going to just start coming like nuts, like crazy here. So it was one down. Look at them all. Two. Is that not hitting him? So 
I made a few more arrows, we had enough for a few more. Oh, there we go. So we got a stack and a half. That should be enough. Should be pretty darn close anyway. Hopefully we can kill a lot of these guys with two shots. Yeah, you had to move, didn't you? What else do we got over here? Someone right in here? There we go. That guy was an archer. There's another bowman over here. There we go. Should leave my book out, actually. Just so I can see how close I am. I'm not really keeping count of how many guys I've killed. So we still got over a stack. It should be more than enough arrows, even if we have to shoot three. So that's nine down. I mean, we we'll probably stay for a little longer than just these guys. Let's go after... Mr. Warg here. Here he comes. He's staring at me, but he's not coming. I guess it was only the warg that saw me. So this is pretty actually pretty easy if you need to do uh, Slayer quest. This is exactly what you should be doing. You just have to be careful. I'm standing up on the on the uh, the wall there, and if you get shot back, you could fall out of your fort. So they can't quite get up here. Here comes the uruk. Oh, yeah, so these guys got spears too, right? So they'll throw spears at you. And now he can't see me. And he's going to pay for it. There we go. So like I said, just be careful up on here because if someone shoots you in the back, you fall out of the uh, fortress. These guys are two-shotters, which is why I'm trying to, trying to kill them. They're just the regular orcs, they're not uruks. Oh, I got that guy. I didn't think I was going to get him there. Guy over here. See how we're doing here. 18 and 21. This one's completed, this one's completed, this one's completed. So now it's just this last little bit. Just three more. Come on, guys. I know I'm killing, killing you like crazy, but you could have some common courtesy and spawn near me. Come on. How many arrows do I have? 40, so that's plenty. I can start trying to shoot long distances, I guess. Let's get up here. Eh, he's gonna fall. That guy will fall too. What I mean by fall is he'll move down away from where I can actually hit him. Let's see if we can kill this guy on the other rider here. There we go. That should count. Let's see if we can get this guy. I have to remember that Rivendell bows shoot straighter than the regular bows in uh Come on man, why am I not hitting this guy? Uh, I don't even know if I killed that guy. Stop shooting arrows, though. 
Yeah, 20 minutes. I think that counted. So we just need one more. How many arrows do we have? 23. Lots of arrows. Here, here we go. That's it. Done. Should be done anyway. Let's just double check. Yep, that's all the quests completed. Excellent. All four done. Oh, these are the quests that I've completed. So the uh, Angmar Helmet, Elamindir, the Swords. So this just shows you a list of everything that you've completed. And there's the four active. So that's it for those. So let's gather up all our stuff out of here. I think that's, uh, as you can see, I cleared a lot of snow. So I kept these snow blocks. At some point I might have use for them, so it's going to hang on to them. That can go back in there. Actually, this can stay out. But we'll put these guys in here. All right, now I think we got to wait a little bit. Uh, let's check our home button. Rivendell, we've got to wait. Let's see here. Nine minutes. So I'll come back when I'm... Uh, able to travel. Actually before I leave here what I'm gonna do um, just so you know if you got them if you go to the map here and you go in the top right corner where it says the plus symbol you can create a custom waypoint. Now you can create up to five waypoints. So I'm gonna create a new waypoint here and I'm gonna call this um, just gonna call it Misty Fort. Create a new waypoint. So now I can travel back here anytime I want. It's kind of like using the um, Miscraft, except I can travel directly here rather than having to um, transport to a different world and then come back. So you can have up to five custom waypoints at a time. So if you build your house someplace or if you're somewhere remote and you want to come back there, you can always just create a waypoint and do that. Now I still like using the Miscraft books because you only get five of those uh, waypoints in Middle Earth, whereas the Miscraft books give you an infinite number of uh, um, places you can travel back and forth to so yeah anyway so let's go and talk to let's have a look here our two guys are just south of us two of them are there's one over there and the other guy's up there so let's go cash these in find out how much i can get for doing these slayer quests should, hopefully it's a lot so 23 rep i'm not really concerned about the, the money we have lots of cash so it's really the reputation that I want. So we should have maybe 200 and, I don't know, 230 or 240 after we turn these in, which is pretty good. So to get a high rep, you're obviously going to have to do like a lot of, I only got 11 for that one. That was probably the one that they only wanted to, to uh, for me to kill 12. So to get really, really high rep with these guys, you either have to slay a lot of creatures or you have to spend a long time going around here trying to find quests that you can complete, like give me swords or whatever. Collect three diamonds, we've only got one. So, I mean, there are a few quests that you can do. Now there's also, like, there's, the elves want, you know, quests for saplings as well. So those can be lucrative if you just collect saplings and you can, you know, basically turn them in when they're requesting them. So we're gonna continue north. Uh, just have a look at the map here and see if we can see there's one more smithy up here we'll, we're going to hit this guy up here there's one over here but we're not going to go there we're going to go hit this guy up here because we're heading north anyway oh there's two over there look i just saw a second one on the uh, corner there so we'll go up here turn the quest in and of course it's going to rain because why not let's just have a look at the uh this map here so we are need to go a little bit northeast keeping our eye out for quests along the way as well I really like how they've laid out Middle Earth. The fact that it's not just a really quick jaunt from one place to another. That you have to spend a little time going to where you want to get to. I really enjoy that. Now Minecraft, you know, it's not the most scenic game in the world, obviously. Uh, but the way that... Oh, it's 25. Excellent. The way that the developers of the Minecraft mod have, have done this is, compared to the real Minecraft, I actually really like the way they they laid out the uh, random generator here. The areas feel a lot more believable. So 
Let's find our smith now and see if he's got anything good for us. I've actually found some really good items in some of these. So let's do a trade here. What do you got here? Rivendell Long Dagger. Eh, nothing that I really want. I take sticks, gold, sapphires, and iron ingots. We're not trading any of those. So, yeah, nothing really, nothing really here for us. Any quests that just spawn? Sometimes these guys, this, the quests don't spawn right away. So if you're looking for quests, sometimes just kind of hang out for a little bit and one or two people will probably ask you for something. And there was a second smithy. Let's have a look at the map. There it is over there. Oh, that's the wrong map. Here we go. One right over here. So let's go check that out before we end for today. See if there's anything good in there. We turned all our quests in now, so we've got our empty quest book. So we can start doing other quests. Uh, I think maybe next episode, since we've been here with the elves for a bit, I know I have to finish up my house. That's something I can do a little while later. But I'm thinking I want to get a few more areas opened up, and I think one of them is Gondor. So I'm going to have to go and start to get Gondor opened up. So let's see your regular... Ah, nothing really anything interesting. Nothing interesting at all. So, I mean... Oh well. Can't get everything, these guys, I guess. So we're going to end the episode for today. And I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, feel please, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. This uh, Minecraft 1710 series will be going on for quite a while. Um, only because there's a lot to do in this pack. And this is just sort of the Middle Earth section of it. It's kind of like the fun adventuring part where you can wander around. There's lots to do in this, this pack. Um, or at least in the Middle Earth uh, part of it. There's plenty to do here. Uh, I like the quest generation. Um, I like the vastness of the world. The fact that the terrains are all different. There's different factions, so you can choose what side you want to be on, good guys or bad guys. You can gain, you know, faction rep with, like for instance, you may want to be allied with the elves, but not the Dunedain, so you can do that. So yeah, anyway, um, so I'm going to end the episode here for today. Uh, and I'll uh, see you all next time.